Hi guys, Luton here. Now, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about Armour 3 coming up in the later part of this year. And I also wanted to talk about why I'm looking to include some of it on my channel when it comes out and probably why I might continue to cover it when it comes out. Now for a while as well with the channel I've been wondering which direction to move things, some titles and so on do I want to include. I think you know this is going to be a title that fits extremely well within the context of the channel and let's explore why that is. Armour is a very very tactical game, it's a slow paced game and it has a large realistic element. It suits me as a producer, it suits me as a player, and I think that this as well is the perfect time for me to be moving back in, obviously with the fact that I'm setting up my new PC, which should be able to adequately run titles like this. But what really appeals to me about Armour is the pacing and the tacticalness of the game. Uh, as you guys know, I have a generally very tactical approach and a huge thought process when I'm playing these kind of FPS titles. And for example, just in Far Cry, which is a mad game, but the way I approach situations in Far Cry is very very thought process based. But Armour as well offers such huge variety of gameplay, look at this aquatic combat here, full on underwater combat, and there's also vehicles that they provide for you to be able to move around underwater, there's a huge range in, of engagements that you'll be able to play out across these huge open maps constantly in real time. It's an astonishing game and it's been the process of a lot of work up to this point through the other titles and anybody who's played those previous titles will know this. Um, there's other series that kind of tried to cover this more realistic aspect but I think Armour has always taken it the most seriously. Look at these submersibles here. I mean can you imagine approaching in those submersibles to launch stealth attacks onto the enemy? Armour has a huge range of air vehicles, all sorts of different helicopters, attack, transport, and again, depending on the role that you want to play in the game, you're going to have different skill sets, and those are going to be very applicable in terms of the gameplay that you engage in. Whether you're playing this kind of close quarter street fighting between buildings, breaking them down, or whether you want to be a scout helicopter pilot, going in for light drop-offs and, you know, inserting troops into enemy positions. The way the game plays out, it really has a huge amount of scope for it and it's not the kind of gameplay that we see in other titles where you have this kind of fast you know twitchy gameplay and you're pulling off a lot of crazy kill streaks and things that isn't what it's about armor is not about crazy kill streaks or insane moments it's about the skill of you as a player. I mean, as well, look at this, the improved camouflage. Camouflage almost has very little meaning in Battlefield, for example, but in Armour, you can see that it can be used to the max, as well as this new peaking dynamic that they've created here, so that you as a player can move around, as well as these weather conditions that they bring into Armour. Look at this, real-time fog in the game, and you can imagine what kind of impact that would have on players looking to approach an enemy position or just move across the landscape. The focus is really on team play and tactical team play at that. And I think the kind of players that are going to be drawn to this game are the kind of players that I will be able to sort of integrate and play with extremely well. And of course, if you guys as subscribers are looking to pick up this title, then I'll be very happy to be looking to play with you guys as well, because creating a strong tactical team for Armour 3 is going to be one of the main key points that obviously I want to create at that point in time. Armour 3 really is going to be particularly applicable to my channel because of the way in which I think and the videos that I like to create as I've already said, but moving into it as a new player as well is also going to tie into that because as a new player it gives you a completely different viewpoint to veteran players who are coming at it with a lot of experience and forethought. So for me coming into this as a, you know, I would classify myself as a completely new player to the title, it means that I will have to learn, adapt, find out new things as I go along and in that process means that I can provide excellent feedback and content for you guys who may be in the same position and you come across it there also as new players growing understanding the game together and finding out all the elements of the game which will make you a more successful player. I'm looking really really forward to this title I think it's going to be fantastic I think it's going to be something that really really fits very well for me in the sphere of games that I enjoy playing and these night missions for a start off look excellent you can really imagine assaulting positions across these vast playable areas that you can see right here this huge map which you can move all across to engage your enemy I'm really looking forward to the experiences that can be provided to me in Armour, but also the experience that I'll be able to pass on and give to you guys as my subscribers and viewers in the content that I'll be able to create from getting involved with the Armour community. If you've enjoyed this video today guys, please drop me a like and leave a comment. It'll help me understand if you've enjoyed this and let me know the kind of things that you would like me to cover in further Armour videos. 
Also be sure to go and check out the producer Dyslexi. He's one of the main producers within the Armour community. He produces excellent content that will give you a lot of information about the games. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.